If you believe my videos can help other people, please subscribe, like, and share my videos. Okay? <laughs> How can I say this? I think some people believe when it comes down to dating and or trying to get married, I think some people have it in their mind. If a person is not willing to accept me for how I am, then they have the problem. You know, like, it is not my fault. Like, it is them for being the way they are to where they aren't willing to accept me for who I am. And depending on the situation, that may be true. But... Let me place a scenario for you. Let's say, let me use myself as the example. Let's say I am bitter, have an anger problem, prideful, selfish, very whiny, complain so much, you know, pretty much, a displeasure to be around okay if I am trying to be with a woman in the effort of trying to make her my wife if she learns of me to be that way why should she be accepting of it If I have bad behavior, if I'm like this really bad person or whatever, if I have so much immaturity within me, why would she want to be with a person like that? Why should she be accepting of me? Why would she just what is that word? Why would she just uh, settle, I guess I can say, with the way I am? Why would I see it as it is her problem for being the way she is other than looking at myself, hey, I need to change. Right? If I am jumping from woman to woman to woman to woman, and if they are correct, and if they are saying I am immature, I have an anger problem, you are prideful, you are selfish, or whatever, and if I find it to be true, how can I put the blame on they? Um, they are not caring about my feelings. They don't know what I've been through. So I guess that gives me an excuse to not change since they don't know what I've been through. Look now. If you are acting wrongly, why would anybody, anyone, why would anyone be accepting of it? How can you expect someone to be accepting of bad behavior? Stop blaming other people. Hey, it is Tanisha's fault. It is, what is another woman's name? It is Lisa's fault. It is Angelica's fault. 
It is... <laughs> I am running out of names. <laughs> it is... Tanya's fault. It is... Jessica's fault. How can I see them at fault, but don't see any fault in myself unless I am lying to myself? If the way you feel and the way you behave is not right, no one should be accepting of it. If I feel like you hate me, if I feel like you don't respect me, but what I am feeling is wrong, no one should be accepting of how you feel if it is wrong. Right? If the sky is blue and I come over there and tell you, hey, look now, the sky is orange. If I am wrong, why should you be accepting of that answer? I am not saying you should argue with me and all that mess there, but why should you be accepting of that answer? It's wrong. If I am telling you four plus four is four, why should you be accepting of it? It's wrong. So if you are acting wrongly, if your attitude is wrong, if what you say is wrong, don't expect people to be accepting of it. Change. Change. It is you. Myself, when I think much of the time when something goes wrong, I think I look at myself. Did I say anything wrong? Did I do anything wrong? You know, like, for instance, like, why did that person say this or act that way? Or did I say something or do something to set that person off? Or what am I doing wrong? Or whatever like that. Because the thing I don't like and I think it is so common for so many people. I think some people like to put the blame off themselves and place it on other people. Now, I guess in some cases, if a person blamed the other person, they may be right about that. But I think in many cases, to a certain degree, we are at fault as well. But what if you have the mentality or what if you are the type of person who constantly and always take the focus off yourself and place the blame on, not take the focus off yourself, but always and consistently place the blame on other people. Like, how can you mature? Because unless you are right, how can it always be another person's fault? Everything that goes wrong in your life, how in the world can it be the other person's fault? That is immaturity. That is I would say, childlike behavior. Excuse me. If I want to grow and become better, what am I doing wrong? Let me place the focus on myself. Let me, I guess I can say, place the red light on me. What am I doing wrong? 
I think it is a huge sign of immaturity, always blaming another person as if the whole world is doing you wrong. Look now, I believe almost all of us have been hurt in some type of way. It is time to get over that, forgive, and move on. If you have to, mature. I think there is so much immaturity. Like, uh, I believe there is so much, how can I say this? I believe there is so many self-absorbed people. If you understand what I mean by that. So it is time to mature emotionally and physically as well, I would say. Like, don't. Don't wait until you are on your deathbed to figure out like, hey, I wasted my life holding in so much hate and bitterness and unreasonable expectations, I guess I can say. Don't wait until you get cancer or something really bad happened to you for you to change. Like, does it really need to take all of that for you to forgive and move on? Do so many bad things have to happen to you in order for you to change, really? Like, let's say you live until you are 80 or whatever, and let me not get into another thing. So let me stop here. God bless you.